Shalom. This week's Torah reading is Kitetze, and it's the fifth one, the fifth week of consolation and comfort leading up to Rosh Hashanah, which means that once we have Shabbat, we have two weeks left until Rosh Hashanah. So this week's reading may seem like a laundry list of rules, and people who like to count up the mitzvot in different Torah readings claim that this parsha has more mitzvot than any other one in the Torah, and I'm going to take their word for it. Most of the laws that are discussed have to do with our interactions with other people, such as family workers, other nations, whether it's out of concern for their safety, such as making sure that there's a parapet or some sort of fence around a roof so someone doesn't fall off, questions of proper behavior towards others, and perhaps even how we treat animals. And one famous story that comes to mind is about shooing the baby birds, shooing the mother bird away before taking the eggs. I recently saw a short video where Tal Ben Shachar, who created the groundbreaking course in positive psychology as a Harvard professor, spoke about the effect of social media on happiness. He pointed out that when people post on Facebook, Instagram, and other sites, they're posting happy, smiling faces, the wonderful things they, their children, and grandchildren, and pets are up to. And everything seems wonderful. Unless you feel like your life isn't nearly so wonderful or exciting. There's a culture around us, and especially social media, that suggests that we can't be human by posting true feelings. And if we do, according to Tal Ben Shachar, there's a high price to pay. We can't be our true selves in cyberspace, but we can be when we interact with real life friends one-on-one. -on -one. And this is one of the messages I feel our Torah reading is trying to get across. In chapter 24, after the commandment regarding returning lost objects, we're told, Lo tirei ed chamor achicha o shoro noflim baderech v'hit halamta mehem akein takim himo. If you see your fellow's ox or ass fallen on the road, do not ignore it. You must help him raise it. This is quite practical. The animal may have buckled under the weight of its burden, and the best way to raise it would be with two people working together. Two heads are better than one, to quote the cliche. Sometimes we as people are in danger of falling. Our world is stressful, and so are our lives. When the pressure builds up, it's nice to have a fellow to help lift the burden. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.